Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Mercenaries Only. Our and as you can right. see, Media Blitz is now, one sir. of those fun missions, just like the dig, that does not let you have mercenaries to start with, no matter how long you go through the intro segment. So what I did off camera was I tried both ways. I tried timing it out so that the Odin survived, and I tried losing the Odin to see what would happen. I let the cutscenes play, I tried skipping the cutscenes, none of it worked. It always reset at the beginning of the segment. So, I have an idea. It's not going to be a good one, but it is going to be an idea. And that is that maybe we can live anyway. But, well, I guess, uh, yeah, I guess the thing to do is to just get rid of the Odin, and then we're going to try to survive. So I'm just going to fire the siege cannons this way, make sure they don't kill anybody, uh, have them queued, and then have a bunch of movement plans queued, because the Odin cannot squish enemies. It can only squish neutral civilians, which is very rude, but what you gonna do? Yeah, so it doesn't matter. This is the best way to not use the Odin. And we're gonna give... We're gonna hope that we don't get attacked too quick. I don't know when they come to strike, and I'm a bit concerned about it. But we're going to learn together. So I'm going to assume they attack on this side first, because that is where the barracks base is. And if I were an enemy, I would probably attack with infantry before I attack with anything else. Besides that, I think it's big armory time. We're going to go two armories, and we're going to go one engineering base, so I can get... Now we gotta get rid of all these. Take that down, and then boom, 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 boom. Yada yada, just try to finish everything off. Hopefully the enemy doesn't attack with too much too soon, and then we'll be fine. If they do attack with too much too soon, then we're gonna fall over and die. Which, uh, I mean, that's just how RTS works, right? That's normal. Very close. He almost won the duel. I kind of, so the people were saying like, oh, you should throw the, or the last guy into the enemy base or whatever, so you don't have to take the SCV off of production. I like exploding the Marine with an SCV. <laughs> Maybe it's sociopathic. Maybe it's therapeutic. You never, you never know. It's definitely one of the two. Let's, uh, we're going to get, nah, honestly, I've been a big fan of the armor place. They have been helping out immensely. Now, I'm glad that I'm not going for vanadium plating, because I'm sure someone in their head was like, oh, could this be the vanadium? No, it's not. It's not. Ultra capacitors is still better. Don't worry. Do not worry your pretty little face. But I do like what's been happening in some ways with the armor. At least at the beginning stages, it feels pretty good. I'm going to try something like this. Oh, why don't you guys mind it? And then we're going to try putting a bunker over here. I don't know, I just need I need the AI to potentially be weird, and I need to have a bunker near my mercenary compound in case that comes up. <laughs> we're definitely doing a lot of learn by the seat of our pants here. Now, this mission is one that I am... I'm a bit worried about because it is strictly designed around the Odin being able to take down a base. Okay, that's Hellions. Oh my goodness. 90 seconds, huh? Hmm. Oh, that's not good. Well. Uh, mercenary compound. They don't do that much damage. 60 seconds. And eh, it takes 50 to build a merc compound. That's not bad. I think this is defendable. I think that my stuff is in a poor place to defend it, but I don't think that it's the end of the world. Might be able to do a little bit of scouting and reacting here to figure out where they hit and how to deal with it. We'll rebuild this barracks, though. Oh, they're going to take it down by upgrades. That's the worst part. We're going to land some Vikings, though. We're going to get... Well, it's not really... Oh, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, oh no. Uh, eight seconds. 
just a big old maybe? Double dogs, more pigs, supply blocks. No. Cancel that. You guys in the front. You guys pull back. Try to do it. Try to do it. Uh, angels. Landles. Oh! Don't shoot the trees. <laughs> Yeah, I'm safe. What, you were worried? Why? I'm fine. Duh. <laughs> ah, no! No, 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 no. I was lying, I was lying. Leave the mercenaries alone. Please, I need them for murking. It's murking time. Mercantilism, I think I made this joke already. Doesn't matter, let's go. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Symmetrical siege on siege. Insane. I love it. Uh, we have all of our guys on gas. We have stuff over here. A couple guys. Let's get some hammers into the thing. I can't afford upgrades. I guess that means it's time to get an expansion. Because we need gas for upgrades. We need a whole lot of upgrades. I'm so... I'm so afraid. Uh, is the siege tank base going to be the one that hits us next? Probably. They probably already passed this guy, and I could have had vision of it, but I didn't. Unmove these forward. Because it the Hellions came from this base. They didn't come from the factory base. I'm 99% sure of that. I'm going to get one of these just to see where stuff is incoming from. And then I'm going to try to hold off the starport base as I move towards the not starport base. Okay, we're gonna get things that have multiple charges first. Ah, here it comes. Made for battle. So here's the plan. We set these two. Siege them up. Lift this. And use it to soak some shots. Yeah, rock and roll. Oh gosh, those are diamondbacks. They're gonna hit hard. Then they're going to have to move forward, because they don't have vision. And they're getting their siege broken. Nice. Nice. Okay, let's just have a couple guys permanently over here. Uh, dusk wings. And we're going to start our movement to push. Oh, so there's probably a couple questions. Why am I not doing the Nova mission? Uh, I opened up the Nova mission and I realized that yeah, there's no way to there's no way to get to the point that you have mind control. <laughs> so that one's off that one's off the table, unfortunately. Uh, real shame because I think that we weren't super far from it being viable, but we're just far enough. Alrighty, this is actually starting to be a very good army. We can get some of these SCVs to work over here. We'll take this down, and then this auto turret that always harasses my building refineries. Perfect. And of course, all the mules going over here. We won't need many mules for a long time soon. Because we'll have too many minerals, and then we can just bring the SCVs along with us. Uh, we'll have a lot of scans. We'll have a whole lot going on. So want boom. I don't... I'm getting Devil Dogs, but I'm not, like, excited about getting Devil Dogs. They did save me. I will uh, admit, they put a wonderful, wonderful defense out, and I am very, very proud of them for that. It's just, uh, everybody has their time, you know? Oh, we have plus three. That is exciting. It's going to take forever to get all these upgrades, but with double gas, we'll be able to afford it. Eventually. Double gas and the long slog of media blitz. Uh, it's it's going to be a long mission, by the way, today, so uh, buckle up. I hope you were prepared for the slog. Uh, it was very short the other day, so we're just, we're making up for saved time. So I'm a little bit concerned that there is potentially a base over here, or an attack over here forming. 
I'm not seeing one. Okay, I'm going to use this time to move out and start clearing them. Uh, gotta be very careful. This light base is a nuisance, but it's not, like, deadly for the most part. I do have to be... I have to be careful. Bring these repair guys. And... Maybe the starport base is the one that's going to threaten me next. That could definitely be what happens. Hammer Securities into here. We're going to have to micro the marines inside of this very well to make sure that they're not the ones being attacked in a bunker. What do I have here? Three angels, four spartans, two siege breaker. Yeah, okay, I haven't lost anything yet in this army. Here comes a big air wave, and you know what? Nice. I have Vikings to help. Broad Battlecruiser, I did not bring any care. I just brought enemies despair. Great. Great. Ooh, this is good. This is grand, but not Grant. People misspell my name as Grant all the time. That's not actually my name, fun fact. Save the man. You gotta be careful around those missile turrets, because I don't have a large saturation of air targets. Uh, the factory base is probably the next one that's gonna hit me, isn't it? So we'll keep that in mind and only be a little bit aggressive with our aggression. Mostly just a little bit passive and murdery. Wait. <laughs> it's not, not really the way that I wanted to explain that. Yeah, just a little bit of passive and murdery. You know, that normal way of it, saying things. Here they come. Be prepared. Thank you, Banshees. I'm going to put the Banshees in the front. They have Cloak. I can disengage if needed. Where did that factory attack go? I saw it on the mini-map. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, hey! They got stuck. Or not stuck, but they just ended up over there. Take down all of the range stuff. They're going to have to unsiege. Hopefully they're going to... No. I did not mean to drop that mule. No, 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 no! Careful. Uh, Dust Queens, Jackson's Revenge, War Picks. This is the everybody. Devil Dogs out. War Pigs in. You on patrol? Let's go. That was a scary movement from that factory player. But I think we're going to be alright. We have so many repair SCVs. If we can take down the infantry base now, I think that a lot of the long-term problems are just gonna be gone. Oh, nice damage. I messed up my control group and I only had siege tanks in it. It's been a very long day, I apologize. <laughs> oh, man. Moving forward, we're gonna take all this stuff down. Cloak the Banshees, they have cloak duration upgrades, so they shouldn't be taking damage from anything besides missile turrets. Battlecruiser is on the way to support, and this is base number one, dealt with pretty decently, I think. If I feel bold enough to compliment myself. Run, Devil Dog, run! It's not your day to burn. Devil Dog will be the guy that I put on si on each of the objectives while the other guys actually do the useful stuff. He's got 30 HP, so he can't really do much more than that. 
Jackson's Revenge is doing some serious revenge. -ing. You know what he says, it's vengeance time, and then he venges all over them. Uh, I will take no credit for that joke, by the way. That's something that someone said in the YouTube comments oh, really? yesterday. And I don't remember who it was, but I'm willing to admit that it wasn't my joke. Because I'm not a comedian, so I don't steal them. Yes, sir. Can you... Huh. Jackson's kind of weird. He, like, has this ah, momentum so thing when setting up his so Yamato gun. I didn't actually know that. Yes, Commander. I don't Yamato with that boy very often. How is this area doing? Oh, the the siege tank war is going to be a pain. <laughs> a real, real pain. Well, the Banshee's going to help out. Definitely a big part of this is going to be eliminating enemies before they become a problem. Wait, can we just take out these factories? That would be... That would be really good. I'm not going to say the ideal word. Besides me saying that I'm not going to say it. But I'm lacking damage right now from upgrades. So being able to stop them from building more stuff is going to be a good way to even the odds. Big attack wave incoming over here. I'm going to take this out and then disengage. Focus on the control over here. Uh, Banshee missiles doing some serious punishment to the sides. Good damage in that line. And then we have more than enough range due to the range upgrade. So we can take down the Vikings. And I'm getting infantry armor just in case. Now that's been rebuilt, yeah? Yeah, that plus one attack upgrade really changes things for these double hitting banshees. Uh oh, that's a lot of. That's a lot. I should be able to take these down now, and if I saw everything correctly, I think I can just kind of waddle my way in here, set up my siege tanks, and get shot. Cloak! <laughs> oh, the only HP that matters is the last one! <laughs> Ooh. Oh, we don't have any repair money. We pulled too many guys off, and we actually lost a lot of SCVs. Alright, drop some mules. That'll fix the repair issues real quick. Remember that only the starport base is left in terms of punishing damage? We can take this stuff down. I'm gonna decloak for a sec. They're trying to reinforce this area with tanks, get them sieged up, and we're just going to farm them. For a bit as they attempt that. Oh gosh, double tank volley. And we're gonna send Jackson to give a nice little spot because he can actually brawl if there's a missile turret. And you know his damage ain't bad either. What is it? Whatever that means. So we'll take down the two factories. And then if they get in range of these tanks, it's just game over for them. I'm biding time largely for that plus two attack upgrade as well. I would really like to have access to that. We got a lot of SCVs over here that we're not following. Uh, we use a couple of them to return to mining. Everyone else over here and Devil Dog will be right here. And we have just enough money to get this plus three attack. That's not good. How did that Viking end up over there? <laughs> <laughs> He's fine. <laughs> you got you got real scared because I went, Whoa! but it was a it was a, a misleading. Whoa! We have one more factory to take out, and then we can just click on all these. Ah, oh, that's a lot of tanks still. I'm I'm gonna do it the safe way, not the sorry way. Oh, whoa, hey, right, that's not the button. Oh, no, okay. That's not the way you want to do that. It's a fun little fact for the kids at home. You 
Easy 333 upgrades. That's everything. We're going to melt through this. And if we get lucky, what will happen is they will try to actually attack. And the attack wave will have a set of tanks in it. And they'll like start on sieging the tanks over here. If that doesn't happen, not the end of the world. We'll be able to move on through them pretty quick. Jackson, not really a big fan of taking damage because the turret's double attack and he is made of six armor. So he reduces turret damage by half. Now, do I just want to start this event? I think I do. I think I want to move the tanks forward into like this center area. I want to have the Vikings in flanking mode. And then this guy is going to run right onto the point. I know they attack with a bunch of Vikings over here. I think they're like set up specifically to land. And if that is the case, then we can probably abuse that to some extent. So we will see. And if not, we're going to have the, uh, the tough guy in front. But the area of effect damage from the Vikings does seem like it would be good against the enemy. That's not how I queued him. I queued him to go over here and then over. Didn't I? Am I insane? I could have sworn that I did. Huh. Oh, I messed that up. Take them out. Nice strike team, bro. What is it? They come over here next? Yeah, they do. <laughs> this is the legendary General Warfield's tactics at its finest. Oh my gosh, he's doing both at the same time this time. He managed to get three Reapers on the ground. Gonna look at him, Mr. Raven. All right. First transmission uploaded. Even Manx won't be able to wriggle out of this one. Let's go. Incoming transmission. There's only one. I'm really happy with the way Media Blitz is going. Not an easy mission. Rainer. There's a lot of steps that we could have made that would have just, just annihilated us. This really is all about you. But we're not making them for the most part. I knew it. Warfield. Warfield. Him and all his terrorist friends. Still sounds like a Scooby-Doo line to me. I would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for you and your terrorist friends. <laughs> Probably featuring Don Knotts. <laughs> wow. We absolutely crushed that. That was awesome. I thought the those Banshees are pretty... It's pretty terrifying, but things just went Strike well. Team Charlie, get to that tower. Bring down those rebels. I love the angels so much. They're just great. They deal with all these air threats so easily and quickly. Oh, the raids! The one thing that the angels can't stop! Oh. I was too bold. I believed in them too much. I have made the ultimate mistake. Oh, I feel real dumb now. I don't know why I ever say anything. Because whenever I do, it's like, oh, you know, I kind of fancy being able to win the game. And then the enemy just suplexes me from orbit. And as far as I understand in wrestling, that doesn't even make sense. You can't suplex from orbit. Well, apparently Jackson's Revenge disagrees with me, and he probably knows more about wrestling than I do. So, you know what? Suplexing from orbit. Did, did I click on him again after I said he knows more about wrestling and says yes, Commander? Engaging. <laughs> uh, make sure the scans are going. Make sure we're targeting down that. And honestly, we're going to pop these two guys out. Replace the hammer security because the infantry are the core. They defend everything, they tear through the Banshees, and the Banshees are the thing I care the most about. Whatever that means. <laughs> Don't feel left out, Mr. Battlecruiser, I'm sorry. Get the 
I mean, Mr. Mr. BC, you're my biggest and strongest guy because I don't have the Odin. That's pretty good, isn't it? I think it's pretty good. We still have to be careful here. We can kind of alternate back and forth. The Vikings are going to be... I thought I heard a Seeker missile. <laughs> I just... I have this, like, sense where if at any time I hear beeping these days, it doesn't matter what it is, I'm just like, Seeker missile! Get down! It's really awkward when there's, like, stuff going on at the grocery store, but... Everyone's gotten used to me by now. This is like, oh, Grant, he thinks he's getting Seeker missiled again. <laughs> what a silly guy. Oh, run! Viking! No, I thought it was on the Viking! Oh, mistakes were made. Hello, Marines. Are you going to shoot your way through a battle cruiser? Yeah. Yeah, you are. I'm proud of you for it. I don't think they have much left. Yeah, I think we got it all. What? Security team alpha engage. Stop them. What's happening over here? Go <laughs> on. They're proxying me. Who is this? I can't believe it. <laughs> That's like nightmare difficulty levels. Oh, they're building the medic to help out. <laughs> That's so good. Uh, it must have been this guy. He just got bored. <laughs> oh, by the way, we won here. <laughs> this one's the easiest defense by far. That's so funny. I can't believe this guy cheesed me. <laughs> All transmissions have been sent, sir. Oh, they man. Absolutely brutal. I got savage. I got bad mannered. <laughs> oh, that was that was a fun mission, actually. I had a lot of it was very enjoyable things. It felt like there was just enough difficulty that if I made any big mistakes, then I would have died. But it was not like instantly everywhere you look, you're going to be crushed. That's a real nice balance, and I'm pretty happy with it. Well, let's check out the armory for the final time. <laughs> sure as heck don't feel like I'm getting shaped blast. So, here's the actual thing. I do believe that I have to get shaped blast because I don't... I don't have that much that I have to buy on all in, do I? I was thinking that in order to defend on all in, I need to make sure that I don't do damage to my own walls. I'm gonna have a lot of minerals. There's good shockwave missile batteries. <laughs> yeah, why not? You know what? Incinerator gauntlets, let's go. We're gonna give that a shot. My friends, we're out of places that I can go that aren't char. Because uh I looked at New Folsom and it ain't it ain't gonna be a thing. So, this is everything. We don't even have all of the upgrades for the mercenaries, which I am kind of mind blown about. I genuinely, honestly thought that I was gonna be able to afford everything and have a cash surplus because it's only a fraction of the units. Turns out, nope. The uh, unavailable missions does really hurt. So that'll be exciting. Uh, I hope you enjoyed today's episode of mercenaries only, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.